The insurance industry tested more than three dozen vehicles to see if new safety features are preventing deaths. Chip Reed has the results. For years, crash tests have shown steady improvement in vehicle safety. Now, a new report confirms those findings. Adrian Lund is president of the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. We've seen a lot of stories about recalls and, and people may be nervous about the vehicles, but the fact is vehicles are uh, as safe as they've ever been. According to the report, the chances of dying in a crash in a late model vehicle in 2011 fell by 41 percent compared to late model vehicles in 2008. Eight years ago, no vehicle model had zero driver deaths, but nine different 2011 models have not had a single driver fatality. Six of those nine are SUVs. And that's a real turnaround from uh, a decade ago when SUVs weren't the safest vehicles on the road because they had a tendency to roll over. The big lifesaver for SUV drivers is electronic stability control, a system that automatically applies the brakes to individual wheels if it senses that a vehicle is starting to spin out of control. Lund says other crucial safety changes that have saved many lives include increased use of seat belts and airbags and stronger structural designs. For some cars, though, the report contains some bad news. The highest driver death rates are for the Kia Rio, the Nissan Versa sedan, and the Hyundai Accent. The dominant factor among the uh, vehicles with the worst uh, or highest death rates is that they tend to be the smallest vehicles. We reached out to Kia, Nissan, and Hyundai, Scott, to give them a chance to respond to the report, but so far we have not gotten any comment. Chip Reed in Washington. Chip, thanks very much.